Hey you guys, my name is Juliana Mayfield and I'm so glad you joined me today. Um, today we're going to do a makeup tutorial. Um, really that focuses around these brown matte eyeshadow eyes. Everything is about the eyes and how to um, work with brown eyeshadow, how to make it you know, blend it, look good, all of that stuff. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this uh, makeup look uh, from beginning to end. And I, um, I hope you enjoy, you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna start off with some primer. You know what? Um, I was gonna put my regular primer on, but mm, the direction of this look is going, I think I want my skin to look a little bit more glowy. I'm struggling now. Okay, we're just gonna put the regular primer on. So now after that, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this under eye corrector to take out any and all like dark spots and blemishes like this one. See how this is really dark and it's usually around the corner of my mouth. And then these fun little spots here. And speaking of blemishes, you see this guy? He came this morning, uninvited. You see how it's not dark or it's like darker than my skin? Um, I'm not gonna put any under eye corrector on that because it's not gonna really do anything point of the under eye corrector is to kind of neutralize the dark areas and that's why it's this color this salmon orange color is because that's going to cancel out the blue undertones in the dark areas of the skin so that it doesn't compete with the foundation that I'm putting on top of it but see how this isn't dark so it doesn't have any blue undertones this is kind of and what we're going to do because that blemish we can't really co color um, cover it because it's texture on the skin we're going to distract away from it a little later. So sometimes I would go in with a lighter foundation on the center of my face just to brighten everything up. I don't do this like, do I do this on a daily? Like if I were to go out just regular and I, not really. If I was not going to be in front of the camera and all these lights that are behind me, um, or I'm sorry, in front of me behind the camera, I probably wouldn't do this step. So if you know that you're, you know, you're not going to be in front of a camera, then you can just skip this step. This is probably not for you, but for me, I'm going to lighten up the center of my face and keep the rest of the face a little dark. Um, I'm sorry, the same color as my skin. And what it, that's what that does is it just builds dimension for the camera. Like that's what I'm doing it for. But if you're not doing your makeup for the camera, girl. <laughs> take the foundation that actually matches my skin tone this is my summer color right now and I'm putting this all around making sure to blend it down to the neck and along the chin I really want to make sure to hit that chin so that it won't you know tell on you foundations on I'm gonna look to see if there's anywhere where these two foundations you can see where they're meeting. And I'm gonna just press on the line so that it's not as obvious. And we're gonna highlight and contour a little bit. So I am highlighting because I think for this look today, y'all, we're gonna do more of a brown eye look. Like the the eyeshadow color that I'm going going for is gonna be a little bit darker than my skin tone but yeah like so I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast just so that the eye, the brown eyeshadow pops a little bit so I'm gonna highlight the center of my face so right now I'm just contouring around my forehead and along my cheekbone Bye, 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 bye,
I have really round cheeks, see? Like, so you get that like lifted snatch look. I create my cheek contour at an angle, going down just like that and then blend it up towards my highlight like that. I don't do that every time. Like if I'm doing just an everyday look or if I want it to look a little bit more natural, then I probably won't have that kind of like snatched and not messing with the angles of my face and things like that. But so I like when my hair is pulled up, like really tight and then everything just like, it's that snatch look. I just love that, love like a tight, tight, tight ponytail and then everything's lifted. Like it's all like a homemade facelift. I love that look so much. A couple of years ago, all I wanted to do was wear a top knot and buns. I did. I love that look. And then I think, the middle of my hair started breaking off. I was always putting it up when it was wet and I would snatch it tight, y'all. Like not to look tight, but to be tight. Like, I had tight, tight, tight buns and ponytails. And I love a ponytail. When I used to wear weaves, um, and so like 2006 to 2010, like I love everything about a good weave, y'all. And I only had two people in the world that I trusted doing my weave. Like, that's it, right? My only thing that I just required was that I can put my hair in a high ponytail with the weave. Like, however they braided it down or... It's like, just please, all I want is to be able to put, like, my hair, like, like up here. And, like, you can't tell in the back. So, like, I need enough, like, lead out in the back. You know? Are y'all like that? Y'all, like, have, like, that one hairstyle that you guys love, love, love? Well, so I, I just blended out my um, con hi highlight with the pointy part of my sponge. Now I'm going to flip the sponge over, you guys, and uh, blend out the forehead, the contour with the fat part of my sponge. I'm trying to put it also in kind of into my hairline, like almost like a half an inch into my hairline there. Because otherwise it, it gives that like mask look. Oh, it's gonna be a problem getting out a little bit later. Let's be clear. Plus, you know what, y'all? I stopped using makeup wipes over a year ago. And the best way that um, I remove my makeup now has been with coconut oil. It has been so good. Like I'll just have coconut oil in my bath. This little eyelet thing. I think it's like a jar and, and it has like a little eyelet and I just put a couple of the eyelet drops, like a serum jar, but it's coconut oil jar. And I just smear it all over my face. It gets rid of everything. Eye, eyeliner, mascara, eyeliner in the eye. What? Does it leave my bathroom sink looking crazy? Yeah. Then I just go right into cleansing. No. Then I'll drench it with water to get all of that like initial layer of makeup off and, and I don't have to go back and I don't have to worry about if something is you know in my eye or anything like that now what I'm going to do you guys um is a little different I'm going to actually contour my eyes I'm going to take the smaller eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take my contour color and if I look straight ahead, do you guys see how my eyeball kind of pops out a little bit on the bottom there? You see how there's a little bit more texture it kind of pops out? I'm gonna go ahead and contour that little area there. You and me, we just don't get along. You make me feel like I did you wrong. Go and, play and I'm gonna just like right there on the outer, I'm just gonna flick it a little bit to pull it out a little bit here. There's this little pocket between your bra your nose going up into your brow. We're gonna contour right there. You see what that does to the shape? Again, y'all, you do not have to do this step if you are not in front of the camera or you just don't feel like contouring. You just don't feel like doing this step. That's cool too. And I'm going to take a take that line parallel to this line, just kind of going on either side of that original highlight line, thinner line, 
and connected at the nose. So I'm gonna pull that into my brow there. You see how that instantly kind of snatches the nose. It also adds to the eyes as well. And now I'm gonna take the fat part of the beauty blender because that's the dark part. <laughs> do the same underneath by looking up into the mirror or you could just feel your way just like that and just soften that contour before we set it with powder I go ahead and now we're gonna go into eyes and first thing we're gonna do is actually contour with I'm gonna take this placement brush by Lori Hogg in the cinnabar which is a matte brown eyeshadow and apply this underneath my eye. And I'm gonna sweep this gently. Sweep this underneath my eye along that curved area. Go extend it out a little bit on that outer corner. And then from that outer corner, y'all, is blend that up into the socket of the eye. And I'm almost gonna go up towards the head of the brow. Ever since I left the city, you started wearing less and going out more. Glasses of champagne out on the dance floor. Hanging with some girls I never seen before. You used to call me on the cell phone. Ain't that what you need? Call me on the cell phone. With the same brush, I'm going to pick a, a darker brown. Hot fudge. And we're just gonna press this on the outer corner here, like within the boundaries of that contour color. And I'm gonna go about, mm, about a third of the way. And I'm not being very precise or look. Take a big fluffy dome brush and just blend that out because I did go a little heavy handed. Because I went a little head heavy handed on that side, I'm gonna just kind of even that out and go a little bit more heavier handed on this side because I can't take away, I can only add. So I'm just gonna kind of go into the socket a little bit more with that hot fudge eyeshadow. It's a deep matte brown, cool tone. So now I'm gonna switch my brush to this brush I think and what I'm going to do is connect that hot fudge eyeshadow here very close to my lash line on that outer third of my eye almost two thirds now I'm going to switch my color and I'm going to do something that's a little bit off the cuff um, and I'm going to switch it to this contour color so it's a contour blush product but I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow and I think it's the most perfect brown for this situation so I'm really focusing on the color so it's this color cocoa I'm gonna wipe off my brush that I use to apply the other two colors this eye placement brush by Lori Hogg and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this color and press it. Even, I'm just kind of blending both colors together and holding my brush back and forth on the line just to soften the edge of the hot fudge. So y'all may have noticed that this video, for those of you guys who have been subscribed for a little while, thank you, is a little different than what I've done in the past in that I'm talking directly to the camera opposed to doing like a voiceover. And that is, I don't know, like I'm just gonna try to be a little bit more open. Like I wouldn't say open and honest, I'm kind of a little bit more open and, um, and transparent on the channel. Cause I kinda, I just want to be that way. Um, and before when I was recording, I just honestly, I had my own like, way of doing things, my own process, I guess. 
I would just kind of put on music in the background and just jam out because I knew I was going to take that audio over and do a voiceover later um, when I started editing. And plus, when I started YouTube, like when I, my very first videos, I had the hardest time explaining as I was doing. So I was just like, I can't do this. And I had a hard time talking to the camera. Very hard time, like it, like impossible time talking to the camera. I felt so weird, you guys. So I was like, that's not gonna work for me. So um, I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that anymore. So for like a long time, I would just do voiceovers and stuff like that. But um, I wanna come back to this style. But um, yeah, I think I kind of like this better. I kind of like, coming back here and talking to y'all like this opposed to just doing a voiceover because I, I guess I got into this place where doing a voiceover would be so mechanical and nothing ever personal came out in a voiceover because I was just giving instruction, which is cool, but I'm getting a little bit more comfortable just sitting here and talking to you guys. Hope y'all are comfortable with me. Now what I'm gonna do is get some liner. Let's put that at the bottom in the waterline above the bottom lashes. Now I'm gonna put a thin layer on top. Now that my lashes and my mascara is on, I put on my powder already. Now I'm gonna put some bottom mascara using the business card trick. I'm gonna do that cocoa contour color and just hit right on the outside here, kind of like that dent between my cheekbone and like my jaw. Do that on this side, right there from like my sideburns. I love me on my cell phone. So gonna blend that down along the jawline. And then what's left over, like pinch my brush and go over my nose with that same color. I could only live then I'm gonna wipe off that same brush, you guys. And I'm gonna go in with my bronzing color small little circle and instead of going on top of that contour i'm going to kind of go above it and blend it into and kind of marry the cheek so i'm going above that contour with my bronzer see how that changes this chest cheek this cheek looks a little bit more fuller and i smile this cheek it has like a little bit more of an angle I'm gonna go with this hot coral, which is a pretty neutral blush for me. Since I left the city 